My name's Noel, I'm a psychotherapist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here with Layla. Layla Jalud. Layla Jalud. Um, tell me about you, Layla. What do you do? Uh, let me see. I'm a, I'm a psychologist. Okay. And so the way that I practice is uh, psychodynamic psychotherapy. Hmm. And um, I personally, I'm a truth seeker. I'm a vegan. I'm a yogi. But most, um, most importantly, I'm here to try to be of service and help people. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out that really complicated word, psychodynamic. That's about relationships between people? What it is, it's a certain type of therapy that takes into consideration where we came from. Ah. And where we come from is uh, by examining our childhood issues. Okay. So by, to understand why we are the way that we are today, we need to look at how we came to be. And so that type of therapy uh, takes all that into consideration. And the way we were, does that mean if that's the way I was brought up, that's the way I'm doomed to be? And or? I wouldn't really use the word doomed. Ah. Um, um, I would see it more as trying to understand. Okay. And so if I'm, if, if I'm struggling with certain relationships currently, why am I struggling with this uh, dynamic in my relationship? Okay. Does it mirror something from my childhood in some way? Oh, I get and it. then can I try right. to resolve that issue in the present? So I no longer carry it from so my past. If I understand past. something about what happened in the past, I can go, maybe I don't want to do it that way. I can maybe do it a different way. Or maybe I do want to do it. I get it. And it, it, you know, it also gets back at the root of the issue. So okay. we need to go to the root to start to undo patterns that almost have like a domino effect and continue into the present moment. Right. So when people come here and you're working with them, you're asking them to think about the relationship between the past and the present. Mm -hmm. And how that might determine or not the future, and then give them options and choices about what they want to do. Yeah, yeah. very much so. That, that, that the only way we can understand who we are today is to look at how we came to be. So you've done a lot of that yourself, I guess. Personally, oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I think that for for all of us therapists, the the only way that you can be truly uh, understanding of this work is if you've gone through the process yourself. Mm -hmm. So I've had my own journey with how I came to be, current struggles and then making the relationship between the two. Because change is difficult, right? Change is very difficult. And you know that because you've done it yourself. Of course, yeah. Change requires re-experiencing painful experiences. Yeah. Yeah. And when you can re-experience painful experiences and then let them go in the present, then that is moving through. It, it, it sounds simple and it's very difficult to do because re-experiencing is what we all try to avoid doing. Hmm. And so it's a combination of being in the present experiencing what is happening and understanding the root of why these things right. came to be. Right. And it's, it's just a process that takes time. That's amazing. And you're relatively new here, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I've been here about a week. <laughs> so I'm very new here, yeah. What's it like? Um, I really like it. Yeah. Um, you know, I, the, way that, the way that I work, the way I, op I operate is I, I, I'm a feeler. Hmm. And, I, uh, and I go with my impressions. And hmm. my first impression when I first came in here was that there was a very just by meeting the staff, meeting all the, all the clients that are here, um, that there's an openness and there's a genuine desire to um, um, be, be real, yeah. whatever that means. And um, I, I, I see that. I see an openness and I see a genuineness, and I'm attracted to that. Yeah. Any environment I walk into, that's the first thing I look for. And if there's any kind of um, lack of genuineness or just ulterior motives, I, I, I'm out the door. And Can so, I, just thinking about because you but just before we started filming, um, you were telling me a little bit about your background and you've got some interesting connections with the UK, haven't you? I do. Do you mind telling me about it? Sure. Well, I was born in Northern Ireland in Derry and so um, I, um, I have family that lives in London. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's a long story as to how we all ended up there, but my mother, my sister, a lot of my family live in London mm -hmm. and so I lived there for a couple of years because I've always loved London. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, I don't want to visit, I want to live. And so I worked, I actually had a yoga studio for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And then I worked with the NHS mm. and saw patients yeah. um, in, in London. And it, yeah. was, um, it was really great. Mm. It was really great. It was great to get licensed there, to see, the, to see how people perceive psychotherapy. Mm. And they really welcomed the way that I work because, yeah. you know, it, it, it's, it's more of, a, again, a dynamic approach. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, one thing I will say is there's a misconception that people in England don't really believe in therapy. And I don't believe that's true. Mm. My experience was uh, the people I worked with or, had, you know, the privilege of working with were really open to the process and wanted to uh, explore deeper. I think, so, I, I, yeah, I mean, I agree with that, but I think it's also because of something about yourself, isn't it? That you support people in getting in touch with that aspect of themselves that wants to grow and heal. And I really get that sense from you. You do? Yeah, oh, nice. I really get it from I'm being glad here. Hear that. Yeah, I know, I do. I get it from you and I get it from here as well. This is a place in which I feel I could grow. You know, and I think anybody who came here 
could get that sense as well. Well, I don't know about everyone else. I can't speak for everyone else, but my impression, and obviously myself, is that I'm all, I'm constantly trying to keep digging. Yeah. So there's, you know, I'm I try to maintain my mindfulness practices and mm. and just um, continue with my own therapy and, and really just trying to always examine what's happening. Yeah. And I see that around here that it, the work doesn't stop just because I'm in a position of therapist. It means I have to keep keep going. Um, and that's what keeps things in, um, And that levels out the balance, isn't it? Because you're a professional, you've got your systems that you work with, but also you're a person who experiences change and encourages other people to experience change. Yeah, it? and just because I'm a therapist doesn't mean that I'm not having my own struggles, that we're, we are fellow passengers, yeah. and that we're all struggling with something. I, for some reason, just happen to be in a position where I can tolerate my stuff enough where I can be of service. And hopefully people who, who work through their own recovery, whatever that manifests as, can do the same for somebody else someday. And Brilliant. so and so we're all we're all we're all doing it together. Listen, it's been really good to see you today. I just wanna say, um, this is one of the staff at uh, Avalon. Everybody's like this. Um, this is an amazing <laughs> place. The relationships that exist here are extraordinary. It just blew me away when I first came here, so I had to come back and capture some of it for you. Um, I'm going to say goodbye. Um, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. No, thank on you a Sunday much. afternoon to just rock, rock <laughs> up like this without any sort of auditions or anything. Yeah, so yeah. you've passed. Thank um, you very much. Thank you. Thanks for <laughs> No problem.